How can you start an online clothing store with no experience, no startup costs, and in as little time as possible? Well, for this side hustle, you only need these seven free apps and you can start earning money online in no time. So let's dive in. All right, you guys, so step number one is to decide who is your audience. Is it kids? Is it men? Is it women? And what are their interests? Are they passionate about traveling or music or golf? Ideally, you want to pick something that you're also interested in because then you will understand them a lot easier. So let me show you a couple tools that will come in very, very handy. So let's say you want to do something around music. Well, ideally, you want to go to Google Trends, which is a free tool, and type some examples of music genre that you are thinking about. And here I took 90s music and rap music and reggae music because I wanted to show you that the level of interest over time is very important. However, you can very, very easily see that rap music shows the most interest out of all of the other ones. And you have up to five options here, so you can try out multiple music genres. Also, if you are debating between maybe music and golf and something else, you can also compare that here as well. The next thing that you want to do is then go to Facebook and I'll show you a trick. When you come to Facebook, if you type get yours here, and then t-shirt, it'll show you some examples of t-shirts that are currently selling online and that are doing relatively well. And this is not necessarily for you to, let's say, copy because you know I am definitely against that. It's more for you to take inspiration. What kind of designs are more in demand now? Is it more minimalist or is it, you know, certain type of graphics or visuals or fonts? You know what I mean. And then last but not least, you can also use Google search and just go and search for, let's say, 90s music t-shirt. And then you'll get some inspiration, some ideas about best selling t-shirts that you can think about creating better. So now that I have the inspiration, let's move to step number two, which is we get creative. So let's think about what do you want to put on the piece of clothing that you want to come out with? Maybe that's a t-shirt or a hoodie or something else. That could be a logo, an image, text, maybe all of the above. So it's up to you. And then you can go and use an online tool that is completely free, which is canva.com, where you can start designing whatever you want to have printed on the piece of clothing. So let me show you in a second how you can do that. So as you come to canva.com, you can simply go ahead and type here t-shirt and it'll show you directly how it'll look on specific t-shirts. Now you get a lot of ideas here and you can select a style or a theme and they'll give you a lot of inspiration. But what you absolutely need to make sure is that you make it your own. All right, so now that you have the design figured out, we get to move to creating your product. How exciting is that? All right, so you can do this in a couple ways. Number one, you can go down the route of AliExpress and Alibaba. And that's great because it gives you a lot more options in terms of the fabric or the cut or the fit of your products. However, you need to be aware that if you go down this route, then you might need to figure out inventory costs because you will need to pay for that inventory ahead of time. You might need to figure out logistics like storage, like fulfillment. So it might not be super easy going down that route. If you don't want to do that, but you're okay with a few less options, then you can go down the route of print on demand. And for this one, you have so many platforms out there. You obviously have Merch by Amazon, which is a very well-known one and obviously takes advantage of all the infrastructure that Amazon has. But you also have smaller platforms with maybe even more flexibility. And here I'm talking about Redbubble, Printful, Printify, Gelato. There's so many out there. And I want to use Printful today just as an example. This is not a sponsored video but I just think they have a super easy onboarding process that I'm going to show you step by step. So go to printful.com and you obviously are going to need to sign in. You can do that with Facebook, with your email, with your Apple ID if you have one. And then all you need to do is come here and click on let's go. They'll show you all types of products that you can start working on and creating as part of your clothing store. I think the easiest one is to just go and search here for something as simple as t-shirt. Once you do that, they will obviously show you a lot of different options. So I would suggest you pick something that has more color options and more size options. This one looks good. Once you've selected the kind of product that you would like to create, 
all you need to do is go to select printing because otherwise they will embroider everything that you want to be on the t-shirt and you can start designing. You can even design directly in here in the app, but I think it's easier if you just go and upload a file that you just created in Canva. I'm uploading mine now and this is how it looks. You can adjust the size if you want to make it bigger or smaller. Maybe you want to put it on the front or on the back. Maybe you want to do it more as a logo and then it looks something like this and you can move it. It's really up to you how you want to position the product. All right, you guys, it is now time to start selling. And you can do that directly on the platform that you've chosen to create the product on, Amazon, Printful, Printify, Redbubble, or you can do that through an integration with a platform like Etsy or Shopify or Wix. And I'm gonna use Etsy in this example today and I'm gonna link below a video and maybe up here as well. I'll link a video where I explain why I prefer Etsy. So I'm not gonna go into details right now. So let me show you how you do that and how easy it is. So back on Printful, you have here on the side something that says start selling. And once you click it, it'll take you to a place where it explains how easy you can do that in three simple steps. Now, when you go and click on start selling, it shows you how you will need to choose the platform that you would like to integrate with. And as I said, you can do that with Shopify, with Etsy, with WooCommerce, with Wix, many, many, many others. But let's go for Etsy for now. All you need to do is click on connect your Etsy store to Printful, and then you just connect to Etsy, you log into both, and you allow access for Printful to access your Etsy orders. Then you choose and assign the products that you want to enable and show access to from Etsy's side. And that's it, you're done. Once you have the integration ready, the only thing that you still need to do is make sure that your product listing is optimized. And when I say optimized, I mean search engine optimized because the only way that people will find your clothing line your products will be through search so what you want to do is either simply go to google and type 90s music t-shirt and then see what options will you get or you can use tools like google keyword planner or like keywords everywhere and those ones are paid but google search is obviously free so you can use that instead once you figure out what kind of keywords you want to use to optimize your listing, then you are ready to roll. Obviously, if you have a following somewhere on social media, then you can use that as well. You can use Pinterest, you can use TikTok and any other platform where you have a presence so that people who love you already can go and support you and buy from your online clothing store. All right, you guys, that was it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments down below what other kind of businesses are you considering starting online? And then I will make sure to come back to you with ideas on how you can do that, ideally for free, so that you can get started as easy as possible. Until next time, I suggest you go ahead and watch this video over here that shows you how you can make money online with Excel. I hope that's helpful as well. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.